give yourself to the dark side. Use the force. We must move quickly if the Jedi Order is to survive. You must learn the ways of the force. You've taken your first step into a larger world. Star Wars time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so guys, we're in the bathroom. It's just a quick one. I won't go too far. As you can see, I have a Stormtrooper fetish. As I've said before in many of my videos, so this is who I see every time I take a bath. Unfortunately, the two figures at the end have been sun ruined, but there was only bubble bath anyway. Absolutely love the artwork. Absolutely brilliant. Here we are, guys. This is my Ewok village. It is a bit cramped in there. It looks like a few of the things have fell down at the back. I will get that sorted, but they are. Some very nice Ewok pieces in there, and it's very, very nice. So I'm very, very happy with my Ewok village, and I do have some of the rare Ewok. Up there, you've got Darth Vader's Black Series helmet, followed by a couple of Black Series pieces. It's a very nice piece. I've never took it out of the box, as I don't want to ruin it, basically. This part, this is one of my favourite parts because I've had this piece here, the Republic gunship, it's in mint condition, it's never been opened and I know for a fact it's a collector piece. I have another gunship at the top there. I do need the yellow one and I do intend to get it but it's just a case of space. There's a Darth Vader toothbrush. Alright, it's a corkscrew, I do apologise. So it's a corkscrew. There's the yellow Stormtrooper Black Series helmet. And then just come around here, there's a couple of more Black Series figures. And then a snow speeder. And just at the top there, it's uh, well, just another Disney piece at, at DP Pilot. Come out here, you've got a rogue one tank and a few more black series. Up there you got the black series land speeder. Just down to here. A few more pieces. If you have a look in here. You've got a Rancor Older Name Mars figure. You've got a 12 inch Luke Skywalker. There's another Rancor there. Excuse the Conan figures, I've not found a home for them yet. And then just at the bottom here, there is a couple of more A Wing ships and a TIE fighter at the back there. Down here, we do have the droids. Here we have one, two, three large, large figures. At the top, we've got three signed <coughs> autograph. Bosk is my favorite. I really love that character anyway. If you can see just between there, guys, it's a very, very rare, um, very large attack. It's one of the classic lines. And then talking of those classic lines, these are the extra large attacks. There's the Endor one and two different Hoff ones. These are very, very, very expensive and very collectible. They are the they're just great attacks. And here we have my Jedi collection. It's a great collection, guys.
very hard to get Jedi Temple Knights. There we go, it's focused in. And Yoda. And straight from the Jedi's onto the Sith. I absolutely love the Sith. I have many, many different ones. Still haven't got them all. There's still loads out there. A few customs as well that I really would like to get. There's your Night Sister, Maglus, Darth Plagueis, of course, Supreme Leader, Darth Vader, Star Knight, or Star Man, whatever he is. Obviously, the Emperor himself. Darth Nicholas, Darth Raven, Darth Malik there at the back. These are awesome figures. That's pretty my favourite Darth Vader right there. Hence the reason why he's at the front. From there, guys, we'll move down into Jabba's Palace. Or Jabba's throne room. It's only my own little main one I've made up. But there's the drummer. Baba Fett. Obviously Jabba himself. Jabba's bodyguard, Grimson Gars, Leia. <laughs> Obviously, you've got Leia in the Bosk, and then you've got Leia in the Slave, really. but you know, Yak Face. Very, very good. There's the dancers. Absolutely love my Jabba the Hutt thrones. From there, we'll go down to the Jawas, Sandwalker. Absolutely love it. Got a jar over there in a casing and then I've just done my own little setup with the droids but I absolutely love that sand piece sand walker it's a great piece to have so very very happy that's in my collection coming down this is the retro se se section basically it's mostly mostly and I use that loom because there's the no more, but this is where all my mostly my retro figures are. That's my favorite, one of my favorite Star Wars vehicles, the Imperial Transport. Absolutely loved that as a kid because you could just storm in. You know, I have an army of stormtroopers just storming in. As you can see, guys, I'm still missing the elusive blue snaggletooth. I am going to get him, but I've got to be careful now because obviously there's so many retros, uh, not retros, custom made ones at resin. And you do have to be very, very careful because obviously you can't get ripped off. Going over to the next section, it's my Imperial Starship. I've just got a few retros in there and a few updated ones. Maybe there's an ebook figure from the cartoon there. It's a custom Sand Trooper Gold, Black Series Chewbacca, Clone Trooper, and then a couple of other. Clone Troopers in the back there. Very, very nice. It's just another section with Savage Opress in it and a few other Black Series. That's the vehicle I found in a um, charity shop, guys, for free pound. Lovely find. I couldn't believe my luck. Couple of battle droids there, one's fell over. Just a few spare bits up there. Got the Jabba the Hutt, Sky Stead Finn, a few clone trooper Lego, a couple more. There, come down into the clone trooper section. Again, as I've said before, guys, I absolutely love 
Stone Troopers, Clone Troopers. So I've got quite a nice collection there as well. Obviously the blue ones, as you know, are my favourite. We're very, very happy with them. So here you have the toy sort of display that I've done in my front room. All different Star Wars figures. There's the retro games that they brought out. Both of them are there. As you can see, it's just all different. Come around the front. There's loads of Black Series there. A few of the retro reproduced there. And there again, a few episode one figures at the bottom. Just all different Star Wars guys, it's very, very cool. It's like having your own toy shop. If you go down the bottom, there's two normal hats, ATATs. If you cut the top there, you see a couple of helmets up there. I've got all the Del Prado ones, whatever they were called. There's at -at boxes at the back, guys. That goes all the way across. But unfortunately, the He-Man's covered that. But you still see them two boxes there. That's the original 1980s Return of the Jedi. At -at. So it's a lovely piece. If you come over here, guys, you can see the Sandman section. With the Tuscan Raiders, absolutely love them. Just love that section. Very, very cool. If you come down a bit, Cloud City, and just a couple of figures. And then if you come down one more, you see the Black Series, Skywalker, and a couple of normal Skywalkers. And then just some random clone trooper parts. But very very nice just look in there you can see my little diorama of the stone troopers in the sand i actually got the sand from a, a building site so it's just a little fish tank so it's pretty cool right here there's just a few figures on the wall very nice i've got quite a few of these shiny ones so they're quite quite nice come down here you've got the mandalorian section few of the uh, retros and then just a few of the actual thing and if you've noticed that's the actual Mandalorian poster I've stuck them all to this is my cheap Death Star where I've got loads of little battles going on but when you see it for five pound out of T TK Max it was a bargain and it's the only Death Star I've got because my brother destroyed my original Death Star, but I would have probably sold it anyway. So, there you've got the turbo tank. These are my three loving pieces. There's the Imperial Shuttle with a few couple of Mandalorians on it. Absolutely wonderful piece. And then you've got the ATTE as well. So, very, very, very happy with those three. And I will do a close-up of these three vehicles one day. But let's just carry on with the collection. Here's my Ewok Battle Wagon. It's not the original. It is only the Robin Hood version, I'm afraid. But it does the job. It is built on the uh, original Ewok Battle Wagon and it looks good. And that, that is actually a Skyletric Ewok. But it looks absolutely awesome next to it. And of course, just a few bits of green I've added myself. Down here, we've got quite a few Black Series and Titan and Star Wars. And you can't really see in there, but that's the Mandalorian. It, look, it looks like they're all backing off. I didn't be after off Nicholas. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that. 
as well. There's another black series there. I think you've seen these all before. Down there as well. Like I said, guys, I'm doing my best to get them all. All in. And over here, got some more large figures coming down. A couple of Star Destroyers. And then underneath there, you've got the four different X Wing fighters. On my front room wall, you've got quite a few of the Sega and Trinity figures. Sorry, She Ra, you're not in this video. Got Shadows of the Empire there. I love those Grimison Guards. Grimison Guards were always some of my favourite figures as a kid because I was so into Dungeons and Dragons. There's a few of the retros. They played great. I don't know if you watched Dungeons and Dragons, guys, but they were absolutely great. There's a. Uh, one of my special collectors ones there which just blended in and there's a couple more Sagas there there's my great big Shadow Trooper from Asda and you've got a Storm Trooper playing a guitar up there and then just a Storm Trooper in the corner there's some more figures Jedi Knights Shaq T Kit Fisto Size Tin I'm not going to try and pronounce some of these names guys But they're just all down the wall. If you go up, I've got other figures going across that are Star Wars. Got a big Darth Vader poster on my door. And then there's just more figures coming down the wall there. In the hallway, I've got Star Wars figures. Yeah, it's just a garbage pile of kids there, but it's Star Wars. <laughs> Loogie Lair back up there some more Star Wars and then they come all the way down and there's a few Star Wars vehicles in the corner there more above the bathroom door Kylo Ren's head coming out of the wall, which is pretty cool. Just below that, there's a couple more figures. A bit random. In the corner over there is actually the Black Series TIE Fighter. This is the back. If you come down my stairs, you can see more Episode 1 figures behind. The railings, Star Wars Rebel stuff there. Got a couple of arc fighters there. So they're just bundled up at the moment, guys. I'm trying to make room. I'd like to have them like hanging if I can, but my wife is dead against me having stuff hanging, so they're just there for basically storage at the moment. But I love the arc fighter at the top there. That goes with that gunship I've got. And guys, just to finish up the Star Wars collection, oh, there's a Black Series set there. But this is what I love. I love the Battle of Hoth. So I've actually got a little diorama, and it's just all the... You can just see it for yourself. I just absolutely love this. Tauntauns, Rebels, Hoth Troopers. We've got a white, white Darth Vader just to go in with it as well. Absolutely love it. Guys, hope you've enjoyed my Star Wars collection. Believe it or not, there is more, but it's all in storage. As I've said, I've just got what I've got out on display. But I hope you've just enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Uh, that is part two of my toy collection over. Uh, part three, I'll let you know when it's coming. Thank you very much. Fade about Hot Toys out. Bye.